actually looks very good. Hello beautifuls and welcome back to another YouTube channel of mine. And so today I'm going to be showing you guys this look and of course, it's going to be an exotic slash galaxy type of vibe look that I'm going to go for. And a bit of a butterfly, if you can't tell my eyeliner. But I'm going to be showing you guys this makeup look and all the products, of course, that I'm using in it. And as for that, let's just get on into the video. Alrighty, now that we are in the all prepping position, we are going to go ahead and get started with this exotic look that I'm super excited to get into. Let's do it! The first uh, step is going to be the priming of the face. I always like to prime my face before I even put on any type of makeup. So, of course, I'm using the Marshmallow by NYX. Love it. Let's put her on. Now that we got done with the whole priming of the face, we are going ahead again starting to the next part of this. And I'm going to, of course, put on color correctors. And, of course, the one I'm using is the Dragon Beauty ones. And, of course, orange and then the lavender one. I'm going to go ahead and put that on my face. Alrighty, now that we got all of our color correcting on, it's time to move on to foundation. And of course, I'm going to be using the CoverGirl Matte Blend. It is my absolute favorite to not make my skin look so oily. I hate it, so we're going to put it on. Of course, I want to take it and do a half pop on that little sucker. And then we're going to go on into it. Alrighty, now that we got all of our foundation on, it is time to move on to now eyebrows. What I love to use is the NYX brow pencil i love it and i am just gonna paint over my eyebrows not paint but you know put on my eyebrows and then we're gonna move on to the next dip Alrighty, now that we are all done with our eyebrows it is time to move on to concealing because of course you gotta make these even and what i'm gonna be using is the jeffree star concealer and then i'm gonna put this bad boy on and then we're gonna move on to the next Alrighty, now that we are done with the whole concealing time to do baking and so, of course, I'm going to be using my Dragon Beauty uh, setting powder. It is the invisible one. It's the one I love using. And I'm going to put this on my face so we can bake this. And then we're going to move on to the next part. Alrighty, now that we are all completely done with the baking, it is time to move on to bronzer. So, ooh, okay. So, for my bronzer that I like to use is going to be the Luminite Bronzit. And I'm going to just put it all over my face i'll show you guys how what i'm doing with that and of course i like to take this coarse angle brush and then i just like to double tap click on top of my mirror here that i have right here and then just go in take it and go down here to get my jawline more like definer you know what i'm saying and of course i like to connect them as you see what i'm doing i'm kind of connecting all of them makes it look like a natural kind of look and then for my nose, of course, I will just leave this whole middle line out and just work on just the round part to kind of sculpt out my nose. Then, of course, if you like put too much on, you can just take this little big brush and then just kind of release her. I like to do it morely up here because I always have a line up there from bronzing, so I like to take it away by doing this. Alrighty. Now that we are, are completely done with the whole face stuff, we're now going to move on to the eyes. So, for of course, for the eyes, I'm going to prime it up. And I'm going to use the, of course, I'm slaying this. I'm so sorry. I keep doing it. But this is the Clinique Canvas Light 26. is the eye primer I'm going to be using. And, of course, I like to take just this brush and just apply it. Alrighty, now that we are completely done with the whole priming of the eyes, it is now time to get on to the eyeshadow. For the eyeshadow palette that I'm going to be using for this whole look is going to be, of course, the Nikita palette. And it looks like this. Such a beauty, isn't she? And I'm, of course, going to be using five colors. And the five colors that I will be using is going to be, of course, Game Over, then Azula, then Mama Dragon, and then mystique and get forward closer and then of course it's going to be matrix these are the five i'm using and it's going to be crazy let's do it though i'm i'm ready i'm ready so 
first of all, what we're going to be dipping into, of course, is going to be Game Over, is the one I want to dip into first. And then, of course, we're going to be moving on to Mystique and Mama Dragon. We're going to just work on the eyelid part. And then, of course, we're going to do everything else. But for this part, since we're going to be doing Game Over, um, I always love to kind of outline my, for since this is going to be the outside part, you can outline it with a brush. And this is, of course, the brush I'm using. It's just like a smudge brush. But um, you can use it to outline if you're going to make like a specific look. You can outline it. So that is what I'm going to do. So I'm going to take game over here. Dip it. And then so what look I want to go for is kind of like a kind of sharp wing type of look. So that's why I'm going to take this smudge brush. And then I'm going to go in and make that wing. Honestly, I recommend this for like any... Uh, beginners or anything if you want to ever make like a perfect wing or anything like that you could use a smudger literally use this this thing will map out everything for you alrighty now that as you can see I mapped them out we are going to of course gonna fill it in a bit and I'm gonna show you guys right now so I'm gonna take here let's take this brush this puffy little brush and we're gonna take of course game over actually no no we are going to take the blending crease brush which is kind of a puffy brush and we're gonna do game over again but of course we're just gonna work on the udder right here we're just gonna fill it in that's not I don't think it's working I should no, we're gonna take this smudge brush and then we're gonna do it, okay? It's not freaking working with the other brush, so we're gonna do it with this. There we go. We're gonna pull it over my eyelid. So basically, is I'm gonna take my brush and go over my eyelid like that to get in that crease and we're gonna stop there because everything else is gonna be for the rest of the color, so you just wanna stop at your crease and just paint that part paint that's so funny Alrighty, guys for another trick i want to just show you guys so let's say you dip your brush into the uh into your thing right you have it on this side right so let's say as for this look i'm wanting it to only go on this on just the outer side not even into my eyelid just on the outer of my eyelid so you can take it so where the part you put it on just take that part and face it on the outer so that you can start coloring that and you don't get anything in your uh in your eyelid there just a little tip for you guys all right now that we have gotten that part done it is time to move on to mystique which is going to be that dark purple one of course that i showed you guys which is this one beauty right there we're going to put her on so that mystique one is just gonna lie in the middle here we're just gonna blend it out with this uh with the game over so i'm gonna take this brush here tap it on my screen and then of course i'm gonna show you guys first and i'm just gonna lay her on damn she's freaking pigmented love it this is working really nice for this so how you see this is kind of angling that way, you're going to take this brush and just kind of angle it kind of with it. Because that you need space for your other color as well. And then, of course, I'm going to take that and I'm going to kind of blend it in up here. So it kind of, so that mystique color kind of rises up. And it's also blending with Game Over, which makes such a beautiful color. Love it. If you actually want a really good blend, you could just take Game Over and Mystique, tap them both, and then blend it right here in the crease to kind of give that formula a little mixture better. Boom. Now I'm going to do the other side, then we're going to get on to the next part. Alrighty, now that we have that purple shade, aka Mystique, in, we are going to go ahead and do Mama Dragon. We're going to put her, of course, in here. I'm going to be using, of course, the same uh, eye, the same brush, but of course I'm cleaning it so that it doesn't really like look weird when I'm trying to put it on. It's like two colors trying to mix with one. With one. <laughs> Can't have her wet. That's a no-no. Alrighty, so we're going to take that Mama Dragon, and of course, I already did my other eye, but we're going to take her, and then we're just going to put her right here, and follow this, of course, this, uh, 
line and i'm only using mama dragon marie now just to get her in there and then of course i'm gonna put mystique and mama dragon together to give in that good faith for right there all right now i'm gonna take that mystique and mama dragon together and then i'm gonna come in the middle of the two colors and then i'm just gonna kind of wipe together just to kind of blend them in as for i did use more mystique than mama dragon i did one thing of mama dragon and two things of mystique because that is the color that you mainly want there and so that so you just are gonna drag it down so and then there you go Alrighty, now that we got all those three colors in it's time to work on the other two so for this i want to of course do azul first because she is going to be the one to kind of give this a fade so like so i'm going to take actually this brush it is a very poofy brush and of course i'm going to take here azul i'm going to give her a little swizzle tap tap and then i'm going to take her and i'm also going to be on the uh game over as well i'm going to be on it but it's going to fade it in you'll see It's going to look a little crazy, I'm just telling you, but that's why you're going to have these trusty Q-tips and they're the one who's going to kind of line it up a little bit for you. Because of course you're going to get in places that you did not want it to, like oh, on the other side of my eyebrow here, like I did not want that. So of course I'm just going to take this and just wipe it away. Alrighty, now that we um, got them on, I actually took a Q-tip here and I lined it up to where these... Are lined up together to where it makes it kind of like very straight and symmetrical so now that we have that the azul on um i am going to go actually i'm thinking on doing putting mystique up right here so we're gonna do that i'm gonna go ahead and put mystique up in that in this corner to fill in that and we're gonna see how that looks so let's put that on so i'm gonna take mystique here and then i'm gonna slightly though it's a slight light type of uh fade that we're gonna do so it's gonna be and it's only gonna hit that top peep right there now i'm gonna do the other side of course Alrighty, now that we have gotten those uh, on, it's time to kind of shape them out so they don't look a little crazy, you know what I'm saying? So we're going to take this Q-tip and of course we're just going to line her up. But you're not going to line her up all the way. As you see here, I'm just going to line her up and then there, of course there is going to be a little type of angle or there's going to be that mystique hanging over that uh, mama dragon. Awesome! You're looking awesome! this is looking freaking dope okay so now that we got that on now it's time to work on matrix so this beautiful thing is going to actually gonna start on the inners and it's gonna work out like a matrix so it's i'm gonna show you guys of course how i'm gonna do that so i'm gonna take this brush the eyeshadow brush of course i'm gonna clean it but i'm gonna take this brush and i'm gonna put it in mystique and then i'm gonna do that this is gonna be very uh very great crazy this is gonna be crazy but i love it so it's gonna be big of course in the corners and then as it works out it's gonna get lighter and also if it's not really sticking that well you could just take your this and spray it once and then you can go into it and it should grip more. Yes. So we're gonna slowly take her and place it lightly on the outsides. There's like minimum glitter. And then ultimately it'll, it's gonna look pretty much like this. Big sparkles over there and it's gonna fade out. So now I'm gonna do my other eye. All right, now that I got the sparkles on, of course, as you can see, Fallout Girl. So with this, you take a brush and you just Wipe it away, wipe away, wipe it away. And it should just come off. And if they don't, of course, you could just either take like a tinier brush and then get those wiped away. I'm gonna keep those, at, I'm gonna actually keep these at the bottom because I'm gonna actually add more glitter down for the bottom. Alrighty, so now that we've gotten 
the top part done it is on to now of course the bottom part of the eyes so for the bottom part i'm of course going to take my smudger here that i have and of course clean it just if it's dirty it wasn't really that dirty thank goodness but we're gonna take that we're gonna take this smudger and we are going to do a lot of colors underneath the eye because we wanted to all match around this i wanted to make a galaxy type of looks here so very exotic -y. so we're gonna take game over do a little couple taps tap that on there and then you just right here under the eye i'm here let me do it over here on the under the eye a tiny bit Just a tiny bit I'm getting under here. Alrighty, so now that we have gone that, now it's time to move on to Mystique. We're gonna, of course, take Mystique right here. That little beautiful color right here. And we're gonna double tap into her. And then we, excuse me. And then we are going to a tiny bit. And the only reason why I'm not putting in Azul under here is because that was just a fade type of eyeshadow. But if you wanna add it in, go ahead. Gonna go in with that Mystique and then bring her out and then too, so she's in the middle as well because it will be all lined up into the middle. So now that we have that, of course, now we're gonna take Mama Dragon and we're gonna put in her, and now we're gonna work on the inners. So, as so. Alrighty, so now that we have the Mama Dragon in the corners there, now we are going to take Matrix. And we are going to do the same effect as we did up here, but of course, a little bit less, actually a lot of it less. So we're just gonna take, of course, her up on into her and then we are going to go on in and do a lot over here and then fade it out okay so now that we got that all done it is time to move on because we are done with the eyes yes no i'm just kidding so we are going to move on to of course mascara so for the mascara, what I like to use is the Master Precise All Day. I absolutely love it. I You can really get it from Walmart, but yeah, this is the one I use, and I'm going to put it on. And I'm not going to do a cat look, of course. I'm not going to do under the eyes. It's going to be more of a dramatic look, as you guys will see when I put them on. Alrighty, so now that I have my mascara on, and as you can see, I kind of do like a little bit of a butterfly look, but not too much really. But this is what the look came out to be for the eyeliner. And so now I'm going to move on to my next, which is going to be the mascara and, of course, lipstick. So with that... I'm going to be using the Lash Stiletto. It's going to be this. The Lash Stiletto by uh, Maybelline New York. And then, of course, for my um, lips, I'm going to do a purple lip color, which is matte. And it's going to be the Maybelline New York one. And it's a part of their new uh, Superstay Matte Lipstick um, that came out a little bit a while ago. But I'm going to be using that. And then I'm going to be showing you guys what I'm going to be using next. Alrighty, so now that I got my mascara and lipstick, as you can totally see, um, I as well did my under eyes as for mascara because I did want this to be kind of a dramatic look, so that's why I did that. But for now, we are going to head on over to the last part of this whole makeup step. So, now, we gotta get into highlighting and then a, of course, my very last step. And But with the highlighter, I'm going to be using Jeffree Star Cosmetics Platinum Ice. It is absolutely amazing. This is what it looks like inside. And they are so pigmented. Let me tell you that, people. They are pigmented. So, caution with these if you're gonna get these. But I love them so much. But today, since I kind of went for a... um purple look i'm thinking about doing the lavender snow today i have not dive into her at all yet so i'm very excited too so let's see what she looks like so let's use my trusty friend brush from my sephora collection he ruined the freaking the design but i'm gonna go in and so i have a little on and let's just see i want you to get this too 
so. Okay. Oof. Okay. Oof. Okay. So, not to worry though, because we can fan her away. So, I'm just going to take this and just to apply her for that side, because it is a lot. So, I'm going to take the other side here, and I'm going to move her. Dude, this is like very pigmented, but I like it. And as you can see, she's popping. She is really popping. <laughs> so, I'm going to do, of course, the other side. La, 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 la. Boom! <laughs> she is shining. <laughs> so, we got, of course, just right there, but I'm not done. This does not only parts we're highlighting. We are going to highlight, of course, right here. So, I'm looking down here. I'm uh, looking at my mirror that I have. Oh, my goodness, Jesus. I didn't even apply. I didn't even freaking put more. This is just it. Of course, I took like this brush and just to smear it away because it does smear away very much easier. So that's why I take this brush. Normally people use it for foundation, but I don't like to use these brushes for that. But I did that. And then, of course, a little bit up here. I don't want to freaking. Yeah, just a tiny bit. Just a tiny bit. And then, of course, my nose. I want to down the line. Down my nose. Highlight the tip. So we're just going to up here. Okay. Now that we are all completely done with the highlighting, it is time to move on to the actual very last step. And of course, the thing I'm going to be using is, of course, the Dragon Beauty Transformation Transformation Face Powder. And this is what the beauty looks like. And I'm going to be using, of course, both of them as I always do. In every makeup video, you're going to always see me do this. So I'm going to take boop, boop, both of them. And I'm going to just put them on my face, just the front of it it gives a little bit of a filter just a little bit and of course i'm going to do this twice because one one time does not do enough two times i can see her so that's what i'm going to do two right there and then i'm going to get up here a bit Alrighty. so that is what is for the final step and then now let me take out my hair and then we'll see the final look bada bing bada boom bada bang and of course this, i'm using my natural hair because this looked actually matched it. it's very crazy it's just like my hair so that would have been very cute but this is the look and for, of course, a shirt, I'm just going to look for a purple shirt or just whatever wear the same dress that I'm wearing right now. But this is the look. I hope you guys very much enjoyed as much as I have. I absolutely love this look. Love it. I I never messed with purple, so it, this was everything to me. But I hope you guys very much enjoyed it. Like, comment, subscribe so that I can give you guys more of this content. And most and foremost, please comment so that you know, I can get your guys' feedback on this, of course. But I hope you guys have an amazing day and or a good night whenever time you're watching this. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye.